Welcome to another episode of the Rugged Homestead, where today we're going to make, calibrate, and use an A-frame to measure out contour lines on the property here. A-frames have a certain kind of mystique to them, particularly when you see them being used, but really it's a very simple concept and once you see how it's done, you can easily build one yourself and map out the contour lines on your own property. This is everything you need to make an A-frame. I got two long pieces of wood. This is about one by twos. They're about six feet long. I got a smaller one about two feet long some mason twine, but you can use string. I got some nails, a hammer, and a weight. That happens to be a uh, stepless uh, drill bit, but you can use anything, uh, a bolt, a water bottle, anything that'll hold the string straight. No real construction uh, skills necessary here. We're just gonna nail the ends of the two six foot long pieces together. There's nothing exact about it. You're just gonna take the nail, and nail it in. Simple. Now you can see that you can pivot on that nail. Once the top is nailed in, you can position one of the ends, take a nail, and nail it into place. And then, and now with this pivoting, just measure up from the bottom the distance to where you've got that one nailed in. So that's about 36 inches on center. So what we'll do, we'll measure up 36 inches here. that. Now I take a nail and nail it in. Now it's not essential to be so exact because gravity will even things out. Now I'm going to take one more nail and I'm going to hammer it in only halfway. So you just put two nails in, and then hammer a third nail about halfway in, and then just tie your twine to it. So with the twine secured at the top, you're just going to cut a length so that it hangs below. And then you'll tie your weight to it. And there you go. You've just built yourself an A-frame. Calibrating the A-frame is just as simple. Use a, a flat board, the ground, two by four, whatever, and mark out the width of the legs. So we're gonna mark here on the outside and here on the outside. And now we'll stand the A-frame up. With the A-frame standing up, place it on your marks that you made. There you go. And let the string settle down. And where the string lands, make your mark. Like that. Now, turn your A-frame around and set it up on the marks again. And do the same thing.
and make your mark. Right. And now I'll bring you in close. So now you can see you have two marks here, one from when it was one way, one from when it was the other way. Now you take half the distance and that's your midpoint. So right around here is gonna be level. So when you are measuring out your contour lines and this string lines up with that middle mark, then you know you found a level spot. So let's go take it out and see about making some contour lines. You go out to where you want to start marking. Now I know I want a grow bed right around here, so I'm going to start looking for my contour marks right about here somewhere, right about there. And then from there, I'll move, swing those legs around until I get the, the weight uh, perpendicular, and I'll know I'll have another mark. So I'll mark the one leg, then I'll mark the other leg, and then we'll continue from there. A lot of times when people are uh, marking out contour lines, they uh, use flags to mark it out. We've got a real small uh, space that we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna use white spray paint on the ground to mark each uh, spot. And then I can connect line, connect the dots and have a line to follow. And that's all it takes to make an A-frame, calibrate it, and use it. In future videos, I'll be uh, digging swales, and I'll be showing you that process as well. So if you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you'd already do so. And hit that alarm button, that way you'll be notified right away when videos like this are posted. And you'll be able to keep track of how I'm turning my suburban home into a homestead. Thanks for watching.